You know, to be a good judge takes a lot of different things. I've been blessed with seeing judges. Um, my father um, being a lawyer first, along with my cousin, we knew a lot of judges. Um, and I would be able to be around them and to hear them talk about cases or talk about issues. And then I was even more blessed that my father and my cousin became judges. And I got to see firsthand the person who became the judge and how it affects a person when they get all that authority and that power. And the thing I realized more than anything else is what it takes to be a good judge at times is not using the authority and the power you're given to refrain, to restrain, um, to not throw someone in jail that day because they got mouthy with you, especially as a juvenile uh, court magistrate. Gosh, you know, how many kids lose their temper and say something they don't mean? I don't necessarily punish a kid for that. I talk about it with them. Um, you know, if you look at it from my perspective, from my eyes, that's what it takes but it also takes more from the community's perspective. With all the different things going on in our community over the past 10, 20 years, with corruption, with crime, it takes someone that the community can look up to and say, I'm proud to have helped that person become a judge. I'm proud that they represent my community as a judge. Now, you've got to be as honest as the day is long, and you've got to understand that everything you do as a judge, every person you talk to, wherever you are, whoever you associate with, that matters. And it takes experience. Um, it takes the things that the public needs so they know that they have a good judge. It takes things that the bar needs so they know they have someone who's been there and who's done it. And it takes the experience that I know I have to be confident to do the job.